Jai Narsingh, Jai Narsingh, 
Krishna, Krishna. Translated as the reservoir of pleasure. 
It is there where you find pleasure. And if it seems that there is pleasure anywhere else, know it to be the reflection, the shadow reflection of Krishna. That is all. Stavra Janda Madeke, Nadeke Tara Murti, Sarvadavaya Istadeva Spurti. The self realized soul, wherever that self realized soul looks, he doesn't see all the variety of forms in this world. Wherever he looks, he sees the Spurti, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, present everywhere. This is the truth. This is the truth. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had been in Gaya, where he received the initiation, at that time, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu traveled back from Bihar. So, Gaya is, is connecting, Bihar is connecting there to Bengal, uh, on the northern side of Bengal. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in into the northern side of Bengal. And when he came close to the Ganga, he came to a place known as Kanai Natasya. So traditionally, Kanai Natasya, Kanai is Krishna, and Natasya is obviously a place where works of art or manuscripts, scriptures are kept. So we can understand now we would call it a big library, a library dedicated to Krishna uh, and also art was assembled there in Kanai Natasya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was sitting on the bank of the Ganga. He was chanting the Gayatri Mantra, which he had just received in the initiation from his spiritual master. So there are several Gayatri Mantras that Vaishnavas chant, and amongst them there is one known as the Gopal Gayatri. So this Gopal Gayatri is dedicated to Gopal, to Lord Krishna only, directly. So when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chanted the Gopal Gayatri, he saw, he saw Krishna right there in front of him. He became overwhelmed. Just having the darshan of Krishna, all ecstatic symptoms manifested in his body, he became completely overwhelmed. And then Lord Krishna disappeared. And at that point, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood completely changed from ecstasy into a great shock of sadness and separation. And in great despair, he looked everywhere for Krishna. And in this way, he returned to Bengal in this mood of looking everywhere for Krishna, uh, the Krishna that he had found and that now he had lost. And so everywhere he was exclaiming, where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? Hmm. So, in this way, the devotees are always looking for Krishna. Hmm. Sometimes Krishna may manifest himself, but then again, he's gone. So even in our neophyte stage, we are looking for Krishna. This is the key, to look for Krishna. It is not about the ritual. It is not about, are we, are we performing all the arities? Are we performing uh, the, the fast on the right day? Are we drinking water or are we not drinking water? Are we, uh, it doesn't matter. It is said when the disciples of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Jagannath Puri, uh, the king, the king was very eager, very eager to to see them. The associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu were very famous, and the king, the king was on the roof, and next to him stood Gopinath Acharya. Gopinath Acharya was elderly. And Gopinath Acharya had been already in Navadvip before.
before Chaitanya was born. He was of an elder generation. So Gopinath Acharya, he knew everyone in Navadvip. But now he had moved to Jagannath. So he was with the king and pointing out who was who. And he said, oh, there, there, that elderly person who is dancing in XT, that is Advaita Acharya. Oh, this is Nityananda. In this way, he was pointing out all the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And the king was amazed to see them because they were all so effulgent and so full of bliss and so completely in another universe. Yes, they were very, very pleased. They were now coming to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They had journeyed a long way, a long way from Bengal. They had come on foot. Uh, I mean, to walk that distance is not a joke. Uh, but they walked. Uh, they walked. And it was as if they had wings. They walked very fast. And somehow or another came to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then, the king saw that they didn't go to the Jagannath temple. He said, oh, how is this? They're coming to the Dham. Uh, they're coming to this Ksetra Dham of Lord Jagannath. And they are not going to the temple of, of the Lord. No. No. They went straight to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not only that, shortly after that, Big baskets with Mama Prasadam were arriving. And the king said, they are not fasting. But normally pilgrims, when they come to Puri on the first day, they are fasting. Said, not the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They are not fasting, they are feasting. <laughs> <laughs> so our tradition is a little different tradition. The essence, the essence uh, the essence is Krishna Prasad. It is that Bhakta Pada Jala, Bhakta Pada Duni, Bhakta Bhutta Avasis Tina Mahabharata. Uh, the water that has washed the feet of the devotee. The dust from the feet of the devotee or the remnants of foodstuffs of a devotee. These three are Mahabha. They are extremely powerful. So the Vaishnavas are not looking at renunciation. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is most detached of all? <laughs> this hand hasn't touched money for 50 years. It was the other hand. What <laughs> <laughs> kind of uh, no? The vice now will come. He says, "You give me one million dollars." He said, "What you will do with one million dollars?" He said, "Oh, I will do some seva for Krishna. You give. Tomorrow I will be back for another million dollars. I gave you yesterday." He said, "Yes, I spent it. Now you give me another." What is two million? We need more than that. So, <clears throat> but if hundred men can give a, give a million each, that would be a good beginning. <laughs> if you, if hundred men can come, they can, I'll give you my phone number. <laughs> yes. Because for Krishna there is no limit, no limit to what we can spend. Because after all, all wealth belongs to Krishna. Therefore, all the wealth in the world should be used for Krishna. Everything. And until we engage all the wealth of the world in the service of Krishna, it's not enough. No, it's not enough. We are never finished. No. As long as there's one person in this world who is not yet devoted to Krishna, our work is not completed. 
simple as that. Every living being in the whole universe must be engaged in the service of Krishna. That is our, our seva. No? Because that is the desire of the Supreme Lord. Because the Supreme Lord, he cares about every living being. He has an intimate relationship with every individual living being. There is not one that is forgotten. There is not one in the black books. Sorry, this one I don't know. Um, no. The Supreme Lord is, if one living being is missing, he's missing that living being. That is the nature of Krishna. So, Krishna has an intimate relationship with every single living being. There is no one who is not a devotee. Only some know it and others don't know it. That's all. In the Nectar of Devotion, there is a passage where uh, Yurami Kasipo is seated on a throne. Now, we know he is a big demon. So Hirani Kasipu is sitting on a throne and Hirani Kasipu is, is sitting there in great fear. In great fear because he knows that it has been predicted by an Akash Bani, by a voice from the sky, that he will be killed by this, uh, by this eighth son of us. Uh, what did I say? Oh, sorry, Thomas. Oh. I have a mistake. And it comes and comes and comes. So, Kamsa. Kamsa was there in great fear. Every moment, always thinking that he, may, he will come to kill me. But then comes the thought, ah, what can he do to me? Nothing. Huh? I have very powerful allies. <laughs> I mean, really, <laughs> very powerful. Think of it, you know. And the most powerful of all, Casey. Casey. I mean, what can he do about Casey? Just then, a messenger came into the royal court. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, a calamity, a calamity. What? 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 Your Majesty. Casey, no, 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 your majesty, your majesty, no, 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 your majesty, Casey has been killed, no, he is too powerful, no, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, maybe I should just surrender to him. What will people say? Me, Kamsa, surrendering to Krishna. No, 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 I'll never do that. Everybody will laugh at me. No, 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 no. I can't do that. Then, instead, let me go to Vrindavan and inflict pain. Inflict pain on the residents there. But how can I do that when I'm too afraid to go out of the palace? So I like this passage very much. I call it Kamsa's moment of doubt. Uh, where even his demoniac heart cracked for a moment. Only for a moment, but it cracked. Like the sun sometimes goes through thick clouds, there is a hole, and for a moment the sun shines. In this way, Kamsa was covered, but for a moment his devotee identity came out. Even Kamsa. So, Therefore, there is hope for us, little demons. <laughs> so after all, was a big demon. So we, little demons, we can also appreciate that actually, under the covering of the clouds of illusion, there is a devotee. Everyone is a devotee. There is no doubt about it. It's already there, this Krishna consciousness. It's not an artificial imposition on the mind. It's not, how am I going to do this? Is this for me? 
Is this suitable for me? Is it me? Yes, it is you, O oh Counselor. <laughs> and yes, it is you, Irene de Cassivo. And yes, it is you, O oh Putana. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All are actually devotees. All of us are simply devotees. Nothing else and nothing else will work. Sarko Pani Vidin Mutam Dipa, Trinan in Malam Rishiki, and Rishiki is the same number of future. That we have so many designations. I'm a bank director. You didn't know that. That's my job on the side. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a big bank also. Yes. International. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. uh, you can see my card. Yes. Yes, yes. I am important. VVIP. Uh, yes. uh, uh, you understand? W. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> yes, all these things. Upadi, my designation, who I am. Do you know who I am? I mean, no, listen, do you know who I am? Yes, you are an eternal spirit soul, an eternal <laughs> soul of Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's hard to hear the truth, not so easy, but this is the truth. Oh, yes, all are simply devotees of Krishna. I agree, sometimes you wonder, sometimes you meet someone that is this one also a devotee? <laughs> it happened to me also that I had my moments of doubt and I looked at someone and said, This one also? <laughs> but yes, even that one that is included. So when one has this vision, then one sees everyone is by nature the devotee of Krishna, then one can be full of compassion. Then one can see the good in someone. They can see, ah, oh, you know, he's. Is temporarily covered and somehow or other let us do something. Uh, we go on Harinam in the street, someone puts covers their ears. I chant a little louder. <laughs> uh, make sure they hear it anyway. And when the Harinam party goes through the street, then know that all the people in the street are getting purified. But that's not all. Even the street itself gets purified. So the people that go to the street, even after the Harinam has left, they also become purified. That is the power of the holy name. It is, it is the power of the holy name. That it is Chintamani. It is transcendental touchstone. Whatever becomes touched by the Holy Name, transformed, just like that stone that can turn things into gold. 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 Gold finger. Gold. Yes. Uh, you have to be careful. Uh, but this touchstone, this holy name, transforms everyone. It awakens the original identity. Therefore, it is sometimes called mantra ashut. Ashut means medicine. Um, the medicine of the holy name of the mantra. And the example is given of a snake charm. That when someone is bitten by a snake, that then they can become purified by this mantra. Uh, you, the snake charmer chants the mantra and can bring someone back to consciousness. Uh, in India we have such things. In, in my world, uh, we used to have, we have so many kogras in, in Bengal. So in, uh, in my world, we had someone, whenever someone was bitten by a snake, we would take him there, he had a Garuda Shiva, he put it on the, on the wound, Black blood would come out, and then he chants some mantra in the ear of the person, and they would regain consciousness. Then we had to keep them awake the whole night, not allowed to rest. So we had a team to walk with them. Then next day, bus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So 
So these nectars are very expert. And with a mantra, uh, with a mantra, they can drive away that illusion. But Prabhupada's favorite comic uh, of a of a, of a of a man saying chant, 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 and a lady saying can't, can't, can't. can't, can't, can't. can't. Right. And Prabhupada had this Xerox because in those days you could not do any quick uh, forward, you know, posted on Facebook. But Prabhupada had it Xeroxed and he sent that all over the world by, by post. Uh, he liked that very much, that comic. People say, can't, can't, can't. Prabhupada uh, gave, gave an example of an old lady and she was on her deathbed and her son was asking her, chant, 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 chant the holy name. And she says in, in, in Bengali, or gonna get out on the plan. She's saying, and what more do you want me to say? She, she can say all that. And what more do you want me to say? That she can say, but she cannot say Hare Krishna. But Pasupaki Jula Pashanavidani, by the mercy of Lord Nichanandana, even if the Pashu and the Paki, even if the animal, even if the bird, if they hear the chanting, they also get delivered. You don't even have to chant it if your neighbor chants it. Therefore, let us always have kirtan in the house, loud, so that the neighbors can hear it. <laughs> they may complain, but let us do it with one year contamination. We see that Sri Prabhupada was ill uh, and there was Kirtan. Uh, the devotees would, uh, would sometimes say, oh, that it should be quiet. Prabhupada said, no, that, that this is Kirtan. This is not voice. This is Kirtan. Uh, yes. Kirtanya Sadari. Somehow or other. To hear Kirtan, to chant, and to hear again. So, we can just push that one button on our phone and play a kirtan. If we cannot chant, then let there be kirtan. Kirtan in the car. In the morning, when we rise, let there be a lecture or an audio book. There are so many audio readings now of Bhagavatam and of Bhagavad Gita. We can play it every day. If we do so, Something will stick. Something. Agam dumanti kasne na yadam yavaskara. The uh, effect, which is like fog, covering our consciousness, that fog will be driven away. Because the name is Krishna, Krishna Surya Samaya, Ariyandakaya, Vaita Krishna Tanamai, Maya Adhikar. Krishna is like the sun, Maya is like darkness, where there is Krishna. Where there can be no darkness. As simple as that. So, this is Krishna consciousness. But, Mandasumanda Matiyomanda Bhagya Upadruta, we are lazy. And because we are lazy, um, therefore, ah, do I have to chant? Oh, these beads are so heavy. Oh, Yes, yes. When will it be ready? Manana, manana. Manana, you come. <laughs>
and it will be again Madhyala. <laughs> India is saying, hey, Kal, Kal, Kal. Jal, Bilkul, Kal. I said, tomorrow, it will be tomorrow. Eternity. Never today. No, today. Today. Let us get serious about our change. Um, that is the key. Somehow or other. Serious about our chanting and serious about hearing. Chanting we measure, 16 rounds, no less. Reading we don't measure, therefore we don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so set a goal. Avra, Avagata, Roach, Chaliga. No, Avagata. Okay, put your time up. Form, timer, Avagata. Read half an hour. Yeah. It is a matter of life or death. If we don't read, then after some time, after some time, this devotional service will become a burden to us. We will lose the transcendental vision. And then, because we are still conditioned souls, we are in the conditioned states of bhakti, only in sadhana bhakti, only practicing devotional service. If we don't read, we lose the vision and the motivation and the experience. This is too much of a burden. I can't do this anymore. It's 
nice and warm here. Feel your pillow, it's like so, so nice. Your blankets, they love you. <laughs> Five minutes with Maya. Uh, no, no. Get the most murderous tone, alarm tone that you can find. <laughs> Put it as loud as possible and not too close in reach so you can't turn it off. Something like, ah! <laughs> shaking in the bed because the train goes under the bed. <laughs> There's a train going under like that. I'm completely shaking. Um, sometimes I don't wake up from the noise, I wake up from the shaking. The bed is shaking. But uh, whatever. Let's make an endeavor. Let's make an endeavor. To rise early. It's not that you have to go to bed between 10 and 11. In a temple, if you are a temple devotee, mm -hmm. it, that would be considered forbidden. And that's emergency level. Going to bed between 10 and 11 is not the standard in a temple. You have to be in bed before 10, better at 9. Because if you're in bed at 9, then you wake up at 3. And if you wake up at three, then you can chant, chant, chant. Yes, I say, yeah, but if I wake up at three, then I'm very tired. Of course you are if you go to bed late, but if you go to bed early enough, then no problem. This is the key. Therefore, set your own clock at night. So, very loud. <laughs> Nine o'clock. You set up an automatic, now you can uh, make everything digital. So you make a thing in your house at 9 o'clock, all the electricity goes off in your house. Finish, <laughs> party over. <laughs> Turn off the light. So, Srila uh, Gorgasurda's Bhakti Maharaj, right? He used to fast regularly. And sometimes, when he got hungry, he would eat some clay just to, you know, satisfy his stomach. So other times, he would chant all night. He would take a lump of clay, put it in a cloth, and just tie it on his head. So it's a big stack of clay on his head. So that if he would nod off <laughs> while, while chanting, that he would wake up. Srinivas Acharya and his associates on a privacy, they would chant the whole night. They would not go to bed tonight, they would stay up. And you know what they would do? They had seekers. They take their seekers, pull them up, and tie them with a string on the roof, on the ceiling. And so they had to sit up, there was no sleeping. In this way, they managed to chant the whole night. Now, this is not fanaticism. They did it because they had such a desire. So let us somehow think, hearing about these Acharyas, in this month of Kartik, make a special endeavor to hear and chant, increase our hearing and chanting. If we didn't start that yet, we can still start now, better late than ever. But this is Kartik, the month to do something special. And whatever we do in Kartik, gives a special benefit, uh, a benefit.
thousand times the result, actually. And in this month of Kartik, whatever we do then is the beginning of a regular habit. We can build up some good momentum in this month that will give our spiritual life a big boost. A big boost. So let's do it. Let's give it a boost. And I know I also have to work. And uh, yes. But still, something, something special in the months of Karate. That is actually how one can break through to the other side. We see the Kali Karnapur. Kali Karnapur is the son of Sivananda Sain. Sivananda Sain was the close associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He brought Kali Karnapur as a baby to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Kali Karnapur crawled up to the Lord, put the toe of the Lord in his mouth and started sucking the toe. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu let him suck the toe. A few years later, when he was five, Kali Karnapur started reciting all kinds of poetry that he composed about Krishna. Kavi Karnapur became a great writer, a great philosopher. So he wrote one play called Chaitanya Chandra Nata. And in that play he describes there are two types of devotional service. He says devotional service with nectar and devotional service without nectar. Which one do you want? You want some juice, some rasa, or, or not? This Kartik is meant to help us break through by strong union and chanting. A special month. So we are very fortunate that we are here today in this temple and we can sort of, while we are singing the Dhamma Rasta Kings, we can sort of have a little prayer from all right Krishna, I will do it. I will make a special endeavor in this month. Okay, I will end now and I will this time skip the questions. I know you must have some, but I have no more energy because I came here early in the morning. I am finito. I am a singer for you, especially because you are my dear friend. I am a singer for you, half an hour of Damadarastika, and then I will jump in the car and drive away from here because. On Tuesday, I'm flying to Europe and I have to finish some business for Greece. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Kartik Urjara Taki Jai. Shri Shri Radhamana Ki Jai. Die!